big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs this season. You can check them out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, linked in the description. Hey up guys, RBSS here and tonight um, we are going to watch the under-23s as they take on Reading's under-23s at the Bet365 Stadium. It's something that just doesn't come around too often. Um, I know they've played there, I think, four or five times in the last year. Um, I did go to the last under-23s game that was at the Bet365 Stadium back in November now. Um, we lost 4-0. Um, I did vlog it, but decided not to upload it. Um, but yeah, tonight, Reading under-23s. Uh, it should be a good game. Um, I'm hoping we play Tash and Oakley Booth. Um, obviously, we signed him last week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video maybe tomorrow talking about all the signings. Um, but yeah, hoping Tash and Oakley Booth plays. Hoping Campbell plays. Hoping Verlinden plays, you know. Um, but yeah, it should be a good game. Uh, I've got to go college though first. Uh, Kickoff isn't until 7. So yeah, we're going to get down to the Bet365 Stadium a little bit later on. But I thought I'd do the intro now just so it's out of the way. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy. I'm trying something a little bit different today. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Come on the boys. Sheets are out. Um, very strong side we've put out. Obviously Federici, Edwards. Uh, the Lind and the Duke all first team players and Goy's just breaking through at the moment. So yeah, very strong side. so minutes in he's been definitely the best player on the pitch tonight um, probably the best for the best chance of the game as well Another free kick within a matter of minutes makes it 2-0 Stoke this time from Tom Edwards. Another fantastic free kick, a little bit further out than for Linden's, but really good display so far, 34 minutes in. Stoke and played really, really well. Uh, obviously, two goals coming through Tom Edwards and Thibaut Valinda from both from free kicks. Tom Edwards was a little bit further out, um, but they were two top finishes and definitely something I'd like to see in the first team. Obviously, um, maybe Valinda in the first team as well as we've been quite weak from free kicks, especially short range ones. And 
he's demonstrated today that he can show well he can score them short range free kicks so uh, yeah getting to the second half I'm thinking it might be 3 or 4 nil to Stoke um, Reading haven't looked that dangerous going forward we've had the vast majority of chances Valinden's been using his technical ability really well um, but yeah I'm thinking it's going to be 4-0 Stoke in the second half Come on. We know Stoke now, really good play. Um, I think it was Jufa that got the assist. Good finish from the, I think it's Janet, uh, number 10. Really good little finish. So that was it. The game, really good game. Everyone played really well. Um, my standout man would have probably been Thibaut Verlinden. Well, that first free kick, what you can say about it, 30 yards out, uh, pretty spectacular. And then Tom Edwards, obviously, a couple of minutes later, which you never really see that. I know it's an under-23s game, but even so, uh, it was st still something you don't see that often. Um, but yeah, man of the match would have been Thibaut Verlinden. The reason why I gave Verlinden man of the match was just because, well, he took on his men really, really well. Uh, in the first half and then they just had to resort to fouling him um but yeah put in put away that free kick well put on put in some good deliveries into the box um but yeah so hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have smash the like down below and subscribe if you're on new around here i have got a video coming out hopefully tomorrow about transfers um we'll get a few special guests on um talking about transfers uh but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one